Okay. Looks like we're actually going to be in the clear today. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Um. For those out there. Apparently, some a poker person has retweeted my Ori Twitch stream. Hmm. Maybe he just likes uh, platformers. Hmm. Interesting. Nevertheless, <clears throat> we're going to continue through Ori on our very hard difficulty. That's not very hard. It's we got normal, hard, easy, and then we got the one we were using. I just want to finish this today so we can go back to other things a little later on. Nevertheless, we have uh, quite a few things we can do, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to go do with... I was going to go... I'm going to go deal with... Um... Black Barrows, I think. Yes! We got a handful of things we could do here, actually. Oh, excuse me. No, this one's a star. Climb up. We can also open this door. Do, 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 do. One ability cell. I'm going to try and do some speedrunning tactics, but... They probably won't be the best quality simply because I'm not the best at it, but I might try. Okay, so I don't want to dash, because if I dash, I will kill myself. Also, you don't really need anything other than bash to get through most of this area. Oh yeah, I can't really do anything here yet. I need uh, the power that I'm going to get.
Down here. Sol. Light burst. It's uh, probably the most useless power, actually, amusing enough. Not because it's bad, it's just only really useful in certain situations, and it's not really useful in combat. Oh, sorry, messed that up. I do these puzzles a number of times. I think they only give you ability cells in these areas because I'm pretty sure they didn't add any new um, save. <laughs> I'm not going to go through that again. Now to pass, you have to arc that just right. I need to remember exactly where how you have to throw it. There we go. You need two balls, I think. Ability cell. I actually really want Ultra Soul Link, but... No, we'll get Air Dash. Done. Okay, some more progress.
I need three for that. Yeah, I need three. Okay, keep moving. You can actually do things like this. Not sure we never you you really have no point to use it. Even speedrunners don't use it. Like And this is a puzzle that they never reuse, but it's really neat. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. Nope. There we go. They never reuse it. Kind of sad because it's a really cool puzzle. Ah. There we go. Open sesame. In we go. And the nice save point right here. Um, now that we have this power, we can actually do a few things. So, go to Sunken Glades. We can do an incredible amount. We can do a little bit.
Um, yeah, done, done. Um, don't think we can do up there yet. Don't think we can do up there yet either. But we can do that little labyrinth, so we'll go up there. save let's keep moving um this way there we go open that up Swim, 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 swim. This is easier when you... Uh, there's a... Uh, you can get infinite air. So it becomes more like uh, a Mario platformer at that point. You can actually use the um, light blast, I believe, to get over it. Actually. Yeah, no, you, you, could, be, you could cheese this as well. That jump. Uh, kind of slow me down. There we go. Energy cell. Yeah, we could just float up, I think. I knew there was one here. There was, I knew there was a secret somewhere there. I can't do anything there yet, okay. Get a little bit more experience. Uh, we could go to the end of there. Uh, I think there. I think it's a uh, ability cell. I'm not sure. So let's go. Might be an energy cell actually, but I'm not sure. But again. That's a belly cell. Split flame. Energy efficiency or ultra soul link. Not split flame. Just because 
I'm tired of not being able to hit four enemies at once. Even though this only allows me to hit uh, two enemies at once. It's better than being an idiot. That's what. That's you can actually uh, make it so it goes back to its like other state if you want no real reason for you to do that but you can i think it's so you can get some of the stuff back but there's no real reason for you to ever bother okay time for my least favorite part of this game Because it requires you to basically use this feather with extreme precision. I just don't want them being in the way. Ability cell. I think everything requires three now. But it's still a good save point, so. Welcome everyone to Sorrow Pass. Where, yes, there's much sorrow. But there's also some really cheeky ways you can start doing things once, uh, once you realize it. And you're, you're not going to have nearly as much save points as you might want. Also, that's how you get through that. Uh, it took me forever to realize that. Oh, I need one more. Oh, I forgot one. Where, did it, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ow. It's down here, isn't it? Also, as a note, you can basically just do the equivalent of spam the air dash. Like I just did. It's not recommended because sometimes it makes it really hard to control, but you can spam it if you want. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm not doing this in really any record time, but... Well, for me, it's more record time. I think it was four hours when I... Took me four hours to first beat uh, hard. Took me seven hours to beat the game the first time. That opens that, so I will go deal with that later, because you need another power that you get here. And that, uh... You need to use Stomp somewhere, I think, to open that one. I don't quite remember where. This place is all about getting puzzle pieces, basically. 
but it also throws in some really interesting puzzles that I really like and I really hate. For example, this thing. You can't push it, but you can bash it. Also, energy cell. I'm going to soul link right now, actually. I will rekindle it once that's done. There we go. Because... There we go. Wait, I think you can actually roll this one. There is one you eventually get that you actually can't push on your own. Too fast. I think it's because it'll kill you. Oh, he broke it for me. <laughs> okay, I actually didn't know that they could break those. Uh, I know it's unstable ground, so I know certain things can break it. But I didn't know you could do that. Okay, this is an area that on hard is really, really annoying. Because you have to be so precise. Now, I'm probably going to do most of this in one try. And then I'm going to die as soon as I basically say I'm going to do it in one try, aren't I? Save. That one's probably my least favorite. I was really risking it there, but I really wanted to grab it. And of course, of course, up here, that's where the fourth one is. Come on down. Oh, nice first try. <laughs> I said I would do it in first try. I actually did it in first try. There we go. Save quick. That's why I saved. Now, time for my favorite power. Well, my personal favorite, anyway. This here is... Charge Jump. It also gives you access, well, later on, to Charge Dash. Which is technically my favorite power. But, how I'm going to be getting places from now on combination with bash and the jump and it expects you to do this too especially later on How that works. The other good thing is that once you get it, it actually starts playing this different track. And it's a really nice track. It's, it it kind of feels like it is talking about the sorrows and all that going on. Because it is kind of sad, but it's also like a, the classic idea of adventure and all that. Which is always nice to hear in any adventure game. Obviously, this game is praised for its amazing soundtrack, so that should be no, no, uh, that should be just obvious. 
No, I want you to blaze it. There we go. Fly all the way to the top. By the way, don't try going over there. It's literally just death. Over here, we get our key to the final area. The Sunstone. I think it's raining. Hmm. Also, I found out why my uh, bitrate uh, falls. It's when someone uh, else is using the wireless communication for, uh, like, and doing large scale things in, like, the path that my uh, computer takes to reach to the router. So I just simply need to make sure I don't stream when that's happening. Well, it's not happening? No, I can stream as much as I want. It's no big deal. Mount Horu. So, there's actually a few things we can do, and I'm going to show you a cheeky way of doing one of them, uh, because it's rather amusing. Now, we've done more or less everything, actually, yeah, we've done everything here, but we got a few things to do in this area, so we're going to go do them. One of them, you may notice that there. I'm going to save. Normally, what you're supposed to do is when you're going, oh, uh, from the beginning, there's a door that you use your energy cells to get out of. Might actually get... Ooh, that's neat. I didn't even realize. I'm dead. Well, too fair. I was trying to do silly things, so no big deal. I'm not up. It won't really show brutal amount, but it does show that we. I need four to get through there. Life. Um, is there another energy cell? Don't think so. I have nine of the 15. I'm missing a lot, actually. <laughs> 
I know I have three. I know, I know. I'm just not gonna... Oh my lord, I keep bloody killing myself by accident. To be fair, I've only died 95 times, so... Let's see if we can die, uh, not uh, die uh, another time. Uh, another five times. <laughs> Me not die another five times. A little more dark than that. I'm actually going to go open this. I don't think I'm missing anything, but I'm... Oh, I know what I'm missing. No, I'm still missing a little bit. So there's one secret that I've forgotten, but I don't remember where it is. Oh well, we'll, we'll most definitely try. Uh, we'll we'll try and see it once. Uh... Okay, not there. Now we can actually go basically do literally everything that I've missed. If I miss something, I can go do it now. Pretty much. We're almost done. Okay, no, we're not, actually. I got... Uh, I got 7 of 12, so I need... Yeah, I, I actually... Yeah, no, I'm closer to done than I might think. But I'm not done. Now that we have Kuro's Feather, we can go up here, pick that up. Ultra Light Burst. I really want to actually get these, specifically those two. So we can actually go look at the ability cells and such, so I know which ones I'm doing. But not, we'll, we'll go for it. We'll do the pickups rather than like heals. I'm probably going to reg And I didn't say hey Save. Um, up there, we can do that now. Over there, we can do that now. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do a lot of stuff, actually, now that we have the uh, thing. So let's do it. Let's do all the areas we haven't done. Uh, okay. This is, once again, not going to be 100%, but it's going to be as close as I can remember to 100%. <laughs> Because we're pretty far away from the...
because the area we need to go to is there. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll do the. Uh, we'll go directly. We'll use the uh, warp. Warping. Safe place. Thank you. Well, I'm an idiot that was up there the entire time. But all I need was double jump to get that. Sheesh. I'm gonna wait to use my ability cells, I think. Open that door, and it opens this way back, so we can actually get back here with ease. Also, there's one area I missed that I can now get access to, so... There's actually two, I think there's an ability cell here and a uh, energy cell, as you can see. The ability cell is in the... I should bring this to the other side of this. I'll, I'll do that and then I'll go grab, I'll go grab the ability cell now. There you go. Ability cell. Rekindle. Push, 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 push. Just to be sure. That is almost everything, actually, from there. Uh, other than experience and one quick thing I'm going to have to go grab. It was bugging me, okay? Also, I'm going to show you how literally simple all these puzzles now are. Oh, that was a problem. Quick, do a quick tap on B. Okay, so ability markers. Did I actually miss one up here? No, I didn't. Good. Um, oh no, ability markers. Those are ability cells. Uh, we actually, we should go back to the Valley of the Wind quick. Oh, I actually got 100% for Forlorn Ruins. Nice. I thought I would actually would never get that. Makes sense this time. Uh, now we have to go down a little bit because another ability cell. Ooh. 
Which we knew where it was, I just forgot about it. Well, let's get the, get the one bottom bottom there too, because we're 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 here. Why not? That's what most of this is uh, light burst is mostly used for. It's not even used for like anything crazy. It's just used for these puzzles, mostly anyway. Keep moving. Is there any area that I have forgotten? Really up there in the sunken glades and over there in the hollow grove, in most of the hollow grove, which makes sense actually. And a whole bunch of areas over there. Okay. This map is big, by the way, if you haven't guessed. A little bigger than anyone might give credit for. Uh, we'll, we'll do we'll do the top ones here that are near here. No, I already grabbed that one. Okay. Uh, actually, we need to wait to get that one because we actually need to use Light Burst to get it. Billy Cell number one. There's actually two things. Oh yeah, there's actually a life uh, we can get. Uh, another thing about it. I'll grab the life while I'm here. It's this area here. You actually only need um, really bash to get out of here. You could do it. I th theoretically with just double jump too. Also that that one I that one's just a tease. I know that one. Like, literally, they hand that one to you. It's so obvious where it is. <laughs> okay, so we go down. We go down. I would like to play normal Ori at some point, but I'm sure because I'm so used to the dash and light burst that it will be a little harder for me. Uh, but since I have it, maybe I'll do it at some point just to show it off. Be but to be fair, it doesn't have a nor like any like difficulty settings or anything, so it'd be basically equivalent to the normal difficulty, I believe. Which is not incredibly difficult. <laughs> It's harder, but it's not incredibly difficult. Um, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll just go. I think we should just get, go straight on through. Or should I go grab that ability cell? Those ability cell. Eh. I actually, I don't think there's anything other than ability cells there, so we're not going to worry about it. 
Um, I don't really need ability cells. I'm probably not going to go for skill completion. So, yeah, let's go. Life markers. Did I miss any energy life over here? No, good. Any over here? No. Well, I have 100 percent that. I've 100 percent that. No. Uh, yeah, I was right. There is no none over there. There is that one that energy cell there, but I know that's there. That one I know that's there. Um, and there's none up in the Jinso tree. I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing in the Jinso tree. We're all good. So there's only ones that I know I know where all the ones uh, all there are, so we're good. But I am gonna quickly go grab this ability cell. Because I can. Um uh, we can grab that ability cell too, I guess. But I think I'd rather do that on the way back. Yeah, we'll do it on the way back. By the way, that's this is another area you can cheese. With uh, this. Ten out of fifteen. Very nice. That one's difficult to reach. They're going to make it harder. Uh, more experience. Uh, down there. I don't think I've really missed anything really important. Keyword. I don't think. <laughs> You're supposed to do this one early, but I'll show you a cheap trick. Done. <laughs> you can go swim through that if you ha if you finish the Jinso tree and stuff of like that, but no, nah, I don't even bother. A little lazy. Also, they also made it so you can now uh, just float up this, which is a very smart decision on their part. Nice. Uh, there's a bit of experience down there. Uh, I'll grab the experience and I'll grab. The, I'll go through there too because I think it actually leads to an energy cell. I said I was going to do it later, so I'll do it now. You actually need to waste those, so. You also need double jump to do most of that. So. Okay, keep that moving, keep that moving, keep that moving. Make it so we can get through here. Oh, well, I'll, do, I'll use the invincibility as a... Oh. I turned it back on for a split second. Yeah, I knew there was an energy cell there. What's an ability cell? Also... Huh. 
Aha. I knew coming here was a good idea. Uh, I don't think there's anything else actually in the moon grotto for me. Other than maybe there, but I don't think there's anything there. Um, so if we move our way... Uh, yeah, over there actually, because there is an energy cell and I, that I know where it is. There's nothing else really there, but there's an energy cell. There's actually also a triple jump, but I never use it. Really? And I don't have it, obviously, in this run. could try, but that's way too much of a pain. Oh, I think there's actually a way around. Yeah, there is. I just didn't think about it. Now, using this air current that's now shown up, Energy cell acquired. Uh, I want to also double check. Well, there, there's no energy. I don't think there's an energy cell or anything in there, so. Just. Ex yeah, there's nothing really important there. Just check. That's okay, that's a glitch. Um Energy cells. I think I've gotten them all other than them. There is one energy cell that I know is gonna stay hidden because it's uh, a part of a secret area. And I don't have the ability to see hit these secret areas yet, so we're not gonna get anything done there. So I'm gonna go break open that that area there. Don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing in it then, if uh, if because of those cells. But hey, I can go check. Ability cell. We'll... No, I'll go around. Also, another easy way up. Ah, uh, sure, we'll we'll grab it. You eventually get if you've maxed out the the uh, the combat tree, you get a. Uh, a four times hit, which is really ridiculous. <laughs> hmm. 
Nice. Yeah, that's everything. Um, That's the way up. How many? Okay, yeah, I'm actually really close. So we'll go up the last energy cell that we can actually blatantly see. Because we have 12. That would make 13. And that'd be 13. That'd be 14. And there's one in there. And because we have 11 of those, we're close to getting all the... Well monies come on come on there we go it's actually easier to get up there before you do the stomp I just forgot to do not do the stomp I don't care if I take damage. Just save. And that's it. Yeah, let's get moving. You know the area I said we shouldn't go to. That's where we're going. <laughs> Ow. As I'm sure you all can guess, by the enemies being on fire, it's the fire area coming up. One life after another, eh? This one uses a lot of concepts we've already used before. For example, launching uh, things to blow up doors and stuff like that. But now it does it on a little bit more a pushy level. Also, that's not uh, water. That's uh, acid. So don't go take a dip. It's not a good idea. Did 10 damage, really? Sheesh. Ridiculous. Come on, spawn. There we go. There we go. Run! We're good. Final temple. I could use that there, or I can go for, like, things. No, I will complete the, um, the utility tree. And I will grab the Ultra Soul Link. Mount Horu.
Your first goal is to make it really high up. Also, if you may have noticed, standing on those platforms for a long time, not a good idea. This is technically the most generic of all the dungeons. From a technical standpoint. Because it's not really that hard. It's just simple, it's straightforward, it's good old platforming. Well, mostly. Ah, so that's where one of the ma that's where the map stone is. I actually didn't know that. That's the problem. <laughs> Usually it's in a position. One, two, three, four. Oh, sh <laughs> Well, I'm screwed. I think these respawn. Yep. You have a choice of which side to go to first. <sighs> and each time you do, do it, as you may notice, e there's lava. Each one you do will cut off the lava for the next floor. Rinse and repeat. They fought for their lives in this fire. Okay. This one is a little bit dumb. This is a good um, introduction to this area. Also, this game's an asshole sometimes. This is full. Full hit points, full everything. I can only take one hit from those things, by the way, total, before I die, because I will be at ten, five hit points rather than ten. Nope, nope. Okay, we're good. Wait, this hat. Oh! Ah, oh, you clever little buggers. I want to see if I can get that, uh, the achievement to, uh, do like all the. Uh, map stones as well, because I think I may have done all of them, but I'm not sure. I'm dead. Oh, safe. Just barely. Oh, it's this puzzle. This puzzle sucks. Now you can cheese it, and I'm going to cheese it.
Oh, no, no, no. I have to do it the other way around. Okay. Nope. I messed up. <sighs> just, just, just take my death now. I'm... As you can see, this is kind of what I'm trying to do. It's not how you're supposed to do it, I know that much, but. Oh, bloody hell, I did it again. I keep forgetting. Howdy, howdy, howdy! Thank you for stopping by for my ever not impressive stream. <laughs> oh, I am very close to the end of the game. This is the last dungeon. Um, this game is not incredibly long. Um, I've been playing this for... Oh, for three hours. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the best I've done. The best I've done, I think, is a little less than an hour and 50 minutes. So, But hey, I'm on stream and I've died... Enough times to... I've died exactly 100 times. Let's hope and pray I don't die another time. Because I kind of want to keep that going. Yeah, I also got the achievement. World at your feet. It's complete all of the stones. I've never actually done that. So, congrats to me. Let's get moving. Onward. Time for us to get creative, because we have to go kill all of these things without dying in a field of spikes. Fashion. There we go. Nice. Got ourselves some coverage. And down we go. No more lava. Lava is not allowed. Sadly, I don't have triple jump, so I can't quite pick all these really silly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's actually one thing that I believe does 10 damage, so... Yeah, 15 hit points! <sighs> yeah, no, no. The, the, it's really better to call it, uh... Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, hit points. Um, especially this thing, because it would instantly kill me anyway, because it's an instant kill thing. It's one of those... Thanks for the free, uh, free energy, though. And let's just quickly shut it off. <laughs> We're here, so we have one, two... It looks like four more of those to do. Okay, that's not too bad. I did not know the top of that hurt me. This side did, but I didn't know the. Does. Ooh, 
There we go. Lunch away. Plunk. Uh, nope. Go away. Stupid lava blobs. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> no, my 100 lives! I wanted to be silly. I did that? Yeah, I did. Save. Anyone wanted pinpoint precision parkour, you're going to get it. Well, not quite, because I'm not the best at it. Yeah, die 99 more times and we'll get a nice round 200. <laughs> I guess that is one option. It's not the option I would like to take, but it is an option. No, it didn't. The quarter feather didn't activate. <laughs> Or I could just die by spike. I remember doing this all the time, though. <laughs> that's that's the reason why. There we go. Time to ride the instant death train. Because that's kind of what this is. <laughs> oh, I have to get up there. Go. Lava, you're sick. Fine, I'll pull it a little bit. <laughs> fine, fine. You don't you don't want to get pushed? Fine, I'll just pull you instead. There we go. Cut that lava off. Maybe if we can get 110 or something without, like, unintentionally get 110. That's not too bad. We'll see how nice and round my the thing will get. Though it's nowhere near as massive as my first time I played. I think I had like 500 death. Maybe I'll just go show by the, my first file off and just show how how many times I've died I died in that. It was ridiculous. And that wasn't even on hard, that was a normal. But to be fair, I was obviously we were learning, and I just bypassed my stop. 
How the, how the hell did I kill that thing? I unintentionally redirected something directly towards it. Oh. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> Probably going to get a few deaths on this. Run! I'm dead. <laughs> Sometimes the feather doesn't want to activate, which is kind of sad. There we go. Now we just have to get back. Time to get back, folks. Other than the big sploosh of lava. There we go. And those, just, yeah, just the last two. Then we're good. Now we have to do a Kuro's Feather down. Oh, it's this one. This one sucks. Because that's why. It's about lasers. I keep forgetting. You can actually pick the, you can actually roll this one. Damn, I didn't let it settle. I'm too, it's too rash.
113, okay. Get boom! Splish! I wonder if we'll, we'll reach uh, level three. We'll get three points before. Uh, not this one. This one sucks. Those pillars are instant death. Lava is instant death. I'm sure you've all guessed that by now. Okay. Time to get moving. When I mean get moving, I mean get moving. Can't see it because I'm really moving quickly. There's a bunch of lava coming our way. <laughs> Surprised I actually did that first try. Sheesh. Not surprised I didn't do that first try. Oh, nice. Good. There we go. The Baba level is done. Um, Super Mario 64? Yeah, actually, Super Mario 64. Yeah, lava is not instant death. It's actually a great way of moving around. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, it's too close. I was too close. I have to be so careful, and I'm not being careful. I don't care. I'm just leaving. It's a boss fight! Well, mini boss fight. Why am I doing this the, the hard way? You're giving me so many projectiles. I could just throw them back.
or you could just die by getting hit by your own um, projectile. That's very nice without me doing anything. Uh, now, I think it gives you full hit points later. No, oh, I didn't reach level three. No, because then I can't. I can't get into the power. But just to be safe, I'm going to cheekily. I think it gives you full hit points when you do this, but I'm not sure. So let's hopefully get wart. Huzzah! Nice and clear. But... Hi, Kudo! Did I mention I have to do this in one try? I gotta do this one try. Kudo will attack you on occasion. It's instant death if you get hit by her. Nope, I'm dead. Yep. Okay, they do give you full hit points. Really doesn't matter too much. It just means I can get hit a few times. Oh my lord, that was close. Good thing I fell in the water when I did. There, we did it. <sighs> oh, come on! 126. Oh, oh well. It's not too bad. There we go. Pick Ori up. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not allowed to have a happy ending. However, I didn't show the prologue, but you begin the game and end the game as Naru. Because in the beginning of the prologue, you play as Naru for a little bit when you find Ori.
good stuff. Well, that was the entirety of Ori and the Blind Forest. More or less, in two parts. So we did it. I did it in a little, a little more than three hours. So three hours, thirty minutes ish. Right. Um. The next game in the franchise coming out this year. I think in April. Yeah. Um. And if it's anything like this one, we can probably expect it to be not incredibly long by any means, but probably to have really nice music again. So, story-wise, eh, it should be okay. Um, it's supposed to introduce some new mechanics. I wonder if they're going to add co-op to it, because it appears you're going to be controlling two characters. Uh, really, there's nowhere else I could really talk about this game too much, because it's Really, as a platformer, it's pretty generic. It's a basic platformer that uses similar mechanics to uh, Metroid and uh, Castlevania, so it's a Metroidvania-ish, but not completely. Uh, it takes its own twist by putting music and very key visuals in there. Uh, most characters don't speak, which is the other big thing. It's actually very interesting. But, yeah, if Will of the Wisp comes out, when it, when it comes out, I might give it a bit, but you might see that on stream as well. Now, that'll probably be a blind run, so you probably see me die a lot. But... Oh, did I mention this game was made in Unity? <laughs> well, actually, I believe this one wasn't. I think the, uh, the original was. The Definitive Edition, I think, actually is made uh, in its own coding. Not sure. I have to check. If, we're playing for your, if you want to play this game for yourself, all you need is two potatoes and tape them together and you'll be fine. Uh, the game is exceptionally lightweight. Uh, most PCs, you should be able to escape the huge bird. <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny. I like that title. Thanks. Uh, uh, but yeah, that and the other thing is this... Even though there's an antagonist, uh, it's an antagonist that you can understand their intentions, but they are most definitely unredeemable. It's that you plunge your, the entire forest into pain and suffering. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't deserve any pity, but at least we understand why you did it, which is actually rather nice to see in a game, rather than, oh, 
oh, they're they're now redeemed, or oh, they're evil, so die. But rather than... And they did without dialogue, really. Good job. Good job. Now, if only there were other games like this. There's a few, but I don't really have a lot of them, so that's the main problem. Alright, is there any... Special thanks to all of these people. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of people, by the way. Uh, the special thanks section, by the way, is for, I believe, the Kickstarter that this game used. Yeah, Moon Stotus would like to thank all the fans of Ori the Blind Forest for the continued uh, and heartfelt support. So you get a cute image to end on. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Now, if I had Trine, I'd play that. I don't have Trine, so I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I want to show off my really ridiculously... Uh, yeah, it took nine hours for me to beat the game the first time through. Uh, this is almost 100%. I died 288 times on normal. And my first time through on hard... I die 279, so yeah, the uh, hard one we did was way, way less difficult. So overall, how much what is the percentage? 93%, so I did more exploring with these 